Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today, and this is week three of the 12 weeks of Halloween. Okay, so let me get the supplies. We have basic black that is four and a quarter by eight and a half, and then we have some scraps. I've already cut out one of these using the layering circles dies. We're gonna cut another one out uh, on video. We have scraps of basic white, and then we have three pieces of the Halloween Designer Series paper. And this measures three and an eighth by two and seven eighths. And then two pieces that measure three and an eighth by seven eighths. Okay, we're going to start with the stamping. We're using the Clever Cat stamp set with Memento ink. We're going to color him with three markers, the light and dark pumpkin and the dark daffodil. So we're gonna start with the dark daffodil and just color in the missing tooth. Now we're gonna take the dark pumpkin pie going to fill it in with the light. You could just color this with the light if you wanted. Now we're going to do some fussy cutting. Now normally I leave a little bit of white on the um, images when I'm fussy cutting. But on the pumpkin, I am not. It has a thick enough line and it looks better on the box if you don't leave any white, okay? that. was tricky. We're using the layering circles dies and the frightful tags dies. So these are all the pieces that we're using. So I'm going to get the uh, mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine and we're going to do our cutting. You need two of these for the handle. Now you could 
use one and cut it in half, but then the, the um, handle would be shorter. So we're gonna use two of these. And we use, um, let me give you the measurements of these circles. They are two and an eighth, no, two and 15 sixteenths and two and an eighth, okay? So we're gonna center that and that makes our one of our handles. So here's our handle. So for the fence, because it has a lot of detail, we're only going to cut that out by itself, okay? I was trying to save some time by cutting, cutting it with the tree, but it didn't work. And for the greeting, it's really hard to see. So what we'll do is we'll re-stamp that. So we're just gonna cut that out and then re-stamp it. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the fence and put it on my stampin' mat and just use my little take your pick tool uh, brush and it gets all those little extra pieces out. So there's the fence. We're going to restamp our greeting on this little piece here. Okay, we've got all of our pieces ready, so now we're going to make the box. We're going to score this on the eight and a half inch side at one inch, four inches, five inches, and eight inches. Then we're gonna turn it on the portrait side and score it at one inch. We're gonna fold on the score lines and burnish with the bone folder. Now let's do some cutting. We're going to remove this section right here and then just trim these. Cut up to the score line, cut up to the score line, and cut up to the score line. And then we're just going to trim these two tabs just slightly. Now normally this is where we assemble our box, but what we're gonna do first is attach our handles. So this one's gonna go here, and whoops. And then this one's gonna go over here. I'm gonna get my silicone craft sheet, and I'm going to place this on here, and I'm gonna add liquid glue to the bottom portion. Okay? And then attach. So halfway is good. Now we're going to do the same thing over here. So
Okay. The liquid glue does dry clear, so if you've got any that shows, it should dry clear. Now we're ready to assemble the box. I'm going to add one strip of tear and tape over here on this half inch strip. Remove the backing and then fold this over. That makes this the back of our box. That makes this the front. So we're going to add tear and tape on this front bottom. Same thing, use your take your pick tool to remove uh, the backing of the tear and tape. Here's how it looks. Now, we're going to add the designer series paper strips using liquid glue. Now before we decorate it, let me show you what's going to fit inside here, okay? So we've got some, this is a caramel apple with peanuts. My husband has wanted to eat this chocolate forever. You, it will hold Reese cups. It will hold this Riley Blake hand sanitizer along with some um, quilt labels. It will also hold a mini charm pack, and it will hold a tape measure and some Tic Tacs. So the box is a nice size. I'll make sure the size of it is on the screen. Okay, so now we're gonna add the bow, or the ribbon, I should say, the black gingham ribbon. And so what we're gonna do is thread it or add it to this handle, and then we're going to add the greeting uh, to the ribbon and it looks like I have a little more than what I need. I don't want to waste any of my ribbon. Okay, that's pretty good. And then you need a fine point here so that you can thread the greeting in there. So I'm just going to place it right there. It's th This is probably the most difficult part. <laughs> it's not really difficult, but that is a little, little small hole there. Okay, so now I'm going to tie the bow make it look pretty and there we go so we're going to fix the ends okay now i'm going to fix the ends of the ribbon <laughs> it's kind of hard to do that when it's on the uh, the roll So now we're ready to add the rest of our layers. So the fence is going to go down here and the tree is going to go over here. So I'm going to actually add the tree first. I'm going to use my silicone craft sheet again so that I don't get uh, glue on my work surface here. Hold that there for a second. And then we're gonna add the fence. And this one.
Now we're going to use dimensionals. So we're going to add the pumpkin down here and I'm going to use mini dimensionals because it doesn't pop it up quite as much. So let's see. There's one here and one here. And then for the hat, we're going to put a large one or a regular size one at the top. Okay. This is going to go here and then we're going to add a thin strip of liquid glue right there where it goes, where it connects to the pumpkin. Just like that. And now we're going to add some embellishments. So we've got these cute stars. We're going to add one here, one over here, and one up here. Okay, so that wraps up this project. Don't forget to leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel. And thanks so much. Have a great day. Ooh, ooh, ooh.